is that at the moment trigger fish are becoming increasingly popular as home aquaria for home aquariums, uh, particularly small juveniles, uh, Picasso triggers and Angelic triggers and things like that, which look very cute when they're small. However, trigger fish are quite a diverse group and they do have quite different habits. Now, most of the trigger fish do get quite large and some of them grow quite quickly as well. So if you do have a small aquarium, this might not be the group of fish for you. I say the best triggers in terms of behavior and temperament and certainly reef safeness and ability to be kept with things like cleaning shrimps and a wide variety of other cleanup crew would be the melithic, melithic group. It's things such as the pink tail trigger, blue throat trigger, niger trigger and the indicus trigger make great additions. They do need a lot of space so I'd recommend 1000 litres upwards. Uh, some of those can be kept in together as well though. So fantastic fish, they'll always be charging up and down at the front of the tank, often reassuring other calm fish there's no danger and encouraging those out a lot more. They can, uh, most triggers can be kept with corals, uh, some of them will occasionally nip at SBS branches just to keep their teeth in check, this is more out of boredom than it is out of desire to eat the coral. So the vast majority of them can kept in coral tanks without any problems at all, though some of them will eat cleanup crew, so that does need to be taken into account. If you have a slightly smaller aquarium, such as 500 litres or so, I certainly consider clown trigger fish would be the best option. They're generally pretty docile, especially if grown on from small individuals. While the odd specimen may reach 10 inches in length, this takes many, many years and is quite unusual. The vast majority of species will take a fairly long amount of time just to get to 5 or 6 inches and can be housed in a 500 litre aquarium as adults quite easily. They're safe for corals, they're not too boisterous with other fish, and they can be kept with cleaners and bloods as long as they're introduced together while juveniles. In terms of other trigger fish, for the majority of home aquariums, they're best avoided. If you do have a small aquarium and want to keep trigger fish, then I'd look at things like the undulate or Picasso trigger fish, which can be kept in aquariums as small as 50 litres to 100 litres, but they do become increasingly aggressive and will often end up being the only fish in the aquarium. If you do want a trigger fish and you haven't got a lot of space, that is an option. Undulates being the best bet as they're brightly coloured and only reach three or four inches in length typically. So they can make a great addition, but it is going to really narrow your other choices. Things like Picasso triggers and more common Niger triggers that you see around may look really cool as juveniles, but they become large and destructive very quickly. And unless you've got time and space and expertise in triggers, I'd generally avoid them. Instead, consider some of the smaller filefish, which have a similar body shape, similar temperament and personality, things like the Aptaser eating filefish, or the jade green uh, filefish, also called the red tail filefish. These are pretty well behaved, and while they may nip your coral, they're, they're generally pretty good in general, and can be housed with a wide variety of other reef tank inhabitants with no problems at all. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, and check out our other videos in our Ask James series.